Dusk and Her Embrace. Man, is this album classic. Cradle of Filth's second official album is a masterpiece in gothic horror. It's so dark, gloomy, and atmospheric. Now, the original release is actually the second version of the album. They recorded it first with the lineup from Principle of Evil, but with a different bass player. That version was scrapped, lineup changes ensued, and so they recorded it again with the lineup from Vampire and a new second guitarist, Gian Pyers. Vampire only featured Anstis on guitar, but the liner notes mentioned a Jared Demeter to fool people into thinking there were two axe players on Vampire. Now after 21 years, Dusk still holds up amazingly well. I absolutely love this album. It's much slower in places, giving the music time to breathe and slowly build up to the heavier moments. And when it gets fast, it goes hard. It's causing whiplash in one minute and walking you through dark and foggy forests in the next. Dusk just balances the mood really well, keeping the listener from getting bored with great musical surprises at every turn. Sarah Jezebel really shines on this album too. Her debut with Cradle was good, but there wasn't much of her there. On Dusk, she's like a specter waiting for her moment to strike, and her voice would be a force of ethereal proportion for years to come. Now Dusk would start the standard Cradle of Filth album structure with two gothic orchestral tracks being placed at the beginning and middle or at the end of the disc, and damn the two on here are fantastic. Humana inspired to Nightmare gives you this creepy feeling of the dead rising from the grave. And when it rolls into Heaven Torn Asunder, you're ready for one hell of an album. Later on, The Graveyard by Moonlight will just run chills down your spine. Funeral in Carpathia, A Gothic Romance, and Malice Through the Looking Glass are three big songs that really take you to dark corners of the earth. I especially love the laughter in A Gothic Romance. Portrait of the Dead Cow. The last two tracks, Beauty Slept in Sodom and Haunted Shores, are also badass. I love the spoken word moment at the end of Haunted Shores. The whisper wings of war to stir the dark one sin and burn. The principal rock metal master plan. Now, I love this whole album, but my favorite song is definitely the title track. The opening riff is just so embedded in my brain. And I swear you can do a heavy metal meow mix song on here. <laughs> Dusk takes everything awesome about the first album and the Vampire EP and really focuses on the strengths of the band. Great long technical tracks that aren't afraid to slow it down. Cradle of Filth really embraced the atmosphere on this one, and it makes one unforgettable album. Dusk and Her Embrace gets 10 graveyards in Moonlight out of 10. Well, you got to walk on down the road with me, man. We got to put together a lot of different people, man. We got to fight that system, man. We got to fight the system, man. Wow. Meow, 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 meow,